Hi everyone, I'm David Rubin, Director of Product Testing at thesleepdoctor.com. And I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor. The best type of mattress for you depends on several factors like your body weight and favorite sleeping position. While there are many mattress designs on the market today, each type targets the needs of different sleepers. Let's check out the different mattress types. First, let's look at memory foam mattresses. Memory foam mattresses offer exceptional pressure relief and motion isolation, and they have a tendency to have a lower price point than latex or hybrid beds. This mattress type typically suits side sleepers or anyone who needs substantial pressure relief. Also, foam contours closely to the body, providing a hugging sensation that cushions joints. It also prevents motion from transferring across the mattress surface, which can be an added benefit for couples or co-sleepers. And if your co-sleeper is of the furry variety, remember, try keeping your animal towards the end of the bed, as they do have a tendency to migrate quite a bit throughout the night. One thing to also keep in mind, foam retains heat and can sleep hotter than other types of mattresses, so keep that in mind if you're a hot sleeper. Next, we have latex beds. Natural latex comes from the sap of rubber trees and gives mattresses a resilient and very responsive feeling. The material lacks the extreme contouring of memory foam, which makes it a worthwhile pick for sleepers who need pressure relief, but don't like to sink too deeply into the mattress. And since latex regulates temperature well, sleepers are unlikely to overheat on a model that includes it. This style generally costs more to manufacture than memory foam mattresses, resulting in higher end price points. And while latex mattresses are durable, they can also be heavy. So make sure you have someone with you when you're moving in or setting up the bed. And finally, we have hybrid and innerspring mattresses. Both hybrid and innerspring mattresses have coil support cores, and some manufacturers use these terms interchangeably. However, they have two distinct designs. On top of the coil core, hybrids often have comfort systems that incorporate foam, fiber, wool, or latex to enhance performance and target different needs. Traditional coil or inner spring mattresses may provide extra cushioning by adding micro coils, pillow tops, or euro tops. And while the exact specifications between coil gauges and styles may vary by manufacturer, all hybrids and inner springs share some similar characteristics. Also, the space created by the coil base allows air to circulate within the mattress and reduces heat retention, making these a great option for hot sleepers. And the coils also provide a responsive surface that prevents sleepers from sinking too deeply into the mattress. Hybrid mattresses typically use pocketed coils that are individually wrapped and move independently of one another, resulting in less motion transfer than a traditional inner spring mattress. Additionally, inner spring mattresses often provide robust support, though they can lack cushioning. While this may be advantageous for some back and stomach sleepers, side sleepers may want to consider if an inner spring model is plush enough to prevent pressure points before committing to a purchase. When choosing a mattress, you need to consider two key factors. The first is your body weight, and the second is your sleep position. Your body weight dictates how firm of a bed will give you the right balance of support and pressure relief. In general, the more you weigh, the more firm your mattress should be. While a soft mattress may be perfect for someone under about 130 pounds, someone over 230 pounds may struggle to get the support they're looking for. Yeah, and additionally, each mattress type and firmness have different benefits depending on your sleep position. Side sleepers require the most cushioning of all sleeper types. When you sleep on your side, much of your body weight rests in your hips and shoulders. These areas can develop uncomfortable pressure points if a mattress doesn't contour to the sleeper. The best mattresses for side sleeper reduces pressure points and prevents your midsection from sinking into the mattress and your spine from falling out of alignment. Regardless of weight, side sleepers should look for a mattress that offers plenty of contouring to prevent sore hips and shoulders. Latex, foam, and certain hybrid models are well suited to the task. On the other hand, back sleepers benefit from mattresses that combine support and pressure relief. While they tend not to feel the same acute pressure points as side sleepers, back sleepers can develop soreness or back pain if they sleep on a mattress that lacks the proper cushioning. For back sleepers, the best mattress features a mid-range firmness. This can vary according to your weight, Hybrid and memory foam mattresses are a good fit for most back sleepers. Just be sure it's firm enough to keep your body in proper alignment. And stomach sleepers need the firmest mattress of all. A mattress that's too soft can cause the spine to fall out of alignment, resulting in pain or discomfort. The best mattress for stomach sleepers offers slight contouring to soften their sleep surface, but a mattress with too much cushioning can cause stomach sleepers to feel as if they're sinking into the mattress. We recommend a firmer, hybrid, and latex mattress for these sleepers. And finally, finding the right model for combination sleepers can be tricky. 
as they need to consider multiple sleeping positions. Sleepers within this group should look for a model with a firmness level that's appropriate for each sleeping position within their weight range. For example, if you're someone who's on the lighter side, think 130 pounds or less, look for a bed that is about a four to six on the firmness scale. If you're someone in the 130 to 230 pound range, consider a bed around seven to eight on the firmness scale. And if you're over 230 pounds, look for something in the eight to 10 range. And for more information on these firmness levels, check out our resources on thesleepdoctor.com. That's it for this one, everyone. This is David Rubin. And I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.